Good morning, everybody. It's November 15th, 2018. It is the opening day of Michigan firearm deer hunting season. I'm out here in my blind overlooking our, our cornfield. I haven't seen anything yet. Been out here since six o'clock and I think it's about time to fire up the grill and do a little cooking. Hi, I'm Steve and welcome to Hall and Ash. As I said, I've been out hunting since about 6 o'clock this morning, and it's getting close to noon. Time to make something to eat, continue to hunt out here. I don't want to stop and go someplace to eat, whether it be up to the house or go to town and grab something. I'll just, I'll just make something out here in my deer blind. On a recent trip to Louisiana, a fellow down there by the name of Warren Maxwell gave me this uh, package of boudin. The Louisiana people eat boudin with about everything. It's a kind of a staple. And what I had down there was really good. So Mr. Maxwell sent me home with a package of boudin, which I'm going to fry up today with some potatoes and some onions, a little bit of coffee, and uh, that'll be lunch today. I've got the boudin cut into pieces, chopped up some onion, chopped up some potatoes. I got the uh, fire going on that little camp stove grill. Cast iron pan's getting hot. So pretty quick, we'll be adding the ingredients and getting some lunch made. The nice thing about this is I can cook in this hunting shack, hunting blind, and still watch for deer. Now, whether the deer are gonna come around with all this noise and the smell of the of the food, well, that's probably another thing, but we're gonna have fun doing it anyway. Oh yeah, it's a cooking now. Man, it smells good. One advantage to cooking out here is I don't have any smoke alarms that would be triggered off by the, the smoke coming off of this cast iron grill. I'm telling you, this smells good. I just took it off the stove. This is what you call eating good in the neighborhood. I wish you could smell it, it smells wonderful. So I'm gonna have some lunch and back to deer hunting. Folks, I can only tell you that this smells wonderful. I'm sure it tastes every bit as good. Oh yeah, that's very good. Mr. Maxwell, thank you for sending that boudin home with me. It is a taste treat. Till next time, folks, thanks for watching and take care. Now we're going to keep watching for some deer. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, folks, and you too will be hauling ash.